How's it going, everybody? It's your boy, Glob. And we got another map review. It's going to be Rin's second go. He's completely redone the map after some feedback. We talked about it. There were some uh, frames per second issues. There were issues with the mirror textures. There's a lot of stuff going on. So he actually went ahead and redid the whole thing. And so we're going to take a look at it. We're going to review it for changes. Um, review it. Um, just go go through it and go through all the details. And the first thing I notice is actually there is an uncalked texture here. So I am just going to fill that in. Um, let's see, that doesn't look good. What if I go here? Eh, that'll be good enough for now. Hold on, let me see what this is. I can make it look good. Temple wall one. Okay, we'll do temple wall one. Yep, okay, I was right, yes. And then it is 1.25, 1.25. Oh, screw that. 1.25. Boom, perfect fit, baby. How do you like that? Yeah. Okay, and then let's just keep going. So you still got those nice warm lights. They're a little bit more strategically distributed along the map instead of just kind of like patterned all over. Um, so I think that's nice. Um, I'm going to question these. You don't need to distribute this many lights up here because the player's not going to be operating up here. Um, like they're not going to be able to see from up here to down here. So I don't think that those lights are going to be important. It would be my suggestion to actually take them out, but we'll see if they play any strategic effect uh, during the map as I'm as I'm in it. So, okay, so here's the main lobby kind of foyer area. Very nice. And you have one, two, three, four spawn points. Yeah, you're going to need more spawn points. Or is that six? Yeah, you're going to need more spawn. Oh, what is this? Oh, it's a fire probably. Um, you're gonna need some more spawn points. What is this? Oh, it's a teleport. Very nice. Cool, cool, cool. Excellent. That's a great idea. And I'm also gonna bring these up a little bit. It looks like they're in the ground. Uh, okay. So I'm gonna bring them up. That... I have never seen this type of configuration for a teleport before. I don't think that's going to work, but I will try it. Okay, let's make some more tellas. Okay. Um, there we go. That's a little bit better. Um, otherwise, people are going to kill each other through spawn. Yeah, he made that like a... Um, Rin, you made that like a, you made that teleport like you made a fire entity. And is this a target teleport? It's a target position. So here's going to be the right way to use the teleporter. Okay, so let's get rid of this because I, I absolutely know that that's not going to work. So what you have to do instead is that's force. Or maybe, okay, did I just get, get it? Trigger, teleport, target, posi but usually it's target, teleporter. Okay, and then he has this trick. And what is this? Okay, and that's a no clip. Um, Is this... Okay, this is not linked. That's just an FI. Okay, cool. I can live with that. So what we're going to do is we're just going to revamp this a little bit. So instead of target position, you want this to be target teleporter. I'm going to have him face in. That's what he wanted. Okay, pretty easy. And I don't know what that effect is, so I'm going to trust Rin's license there. And then we're going to do... Trigger. Let's do that. And that's going to be trigger, teleport. 
then what you do is you simply link these guys. Boom. And that's it. That is how you do a trigger teleport. Uh, yeah, the physics clipping. I've, I've, never, I've never actually seen that before. Maybe it worked. Maybe th that's just another way to do it. But this is the way I know how to do it. Um, okay, let's go. Boom. Trigger teleport. Now let's go target. Target teleporter. Uh, let's do a little bit back. That'll be fine. Maybe a little bit more. I like to do it a little bit more up so that the risk of accident like teleporting into it um into the ground is minimal. Okay, so we got our teleports, very cool. Very nice. And here's the training room. And we got a whole lot of Wait, what? What is that linked to? Is that What's that light and to what's this what's this link to? Info not null. Okay. It must be a really tiny not null that's in here. Okay, cool. That works. Uh misc portal surface. Okay. I have no idea how those work. I'm gonna trust him that that is working as intended. This structure of this room is awesome. I love it. I can't wait to see that in game. And then he put blocking brushes there. So that light, um, well, ideally, what you would do is you go, I'm going to make this change really fast. It would be good. Go in like that. And can you still get through? That's the question. I believe you still can get through. Okay. And again, I'm going to do it all the way up. Nothing goes done. All the way. Okay. Okay. Uh, here. Okay, cool. So those are real proper blocking brushes. Very nice. There's no chance of frames per So he put that there because of feedback that I gave him. And I'm just going to make sure that we have our structural brushes lined up. Uh, okay. I think the next step here is you got to put on the door like um you have to put on the door some sort of symbol right that lets people know what area these are because otherwise people are going to go in and be like hey man did you did you go to the left arena did you go to the right arena where'd you go so uh i think that that's going to be important to add at some point uh actually we should just be good there so if we go structural Okay, and I'm going to save, and I'm going to compile, and it might take a second to compile. I will see how this turns out, and then I am going to, um, ooh, let me see, make, let me make sure I didn't accidentally paste. Yeah. Oh. Okay, league temple dot Okay, good. I'm just making sure I don't have the BSP in there. So if I try to compile it with the BSP already there, that's going to be weird. I think it'll override it, but I'm not sure. Okay, so I'm going to save it. We're going to compile it. And I will see you when I boot up JK2MV and test it in person. How's it going, everybody? It's your boy, Glorman. We're back from our... Uh... 
Okay, I see what he's doing there. But the problem is, the AFX is attached to a sound. And so it's like a runaway sound effect. I'd pick either a flare or something different there instead of this EFX. It, like, it, it looks cool, don't get me wrong, and you can probably edit that EFX file and make your own to make it look bigger and more prominent, but it's making that sound over and over again like you mind trick somebody in single player. Uh, so, that's probably, that's something that ne immediately needs to change. Physics clipping, looking solid. My frames, as I look out, are getting down to 90. Uh, okay. It looks really freaking nice. I would love dueling her. This is fantastic. Concerned about the frames. I think it might be the mirrors, because we did all this work trying to get this... Let me see how my frames are in here. Okay, yeah, I look this way. So something's not getting sealed up. So I look here, my frames in the top right, you can see it's 125. And then I look this way and my frames go down to 70 something, 60 something. So there's gotta be something out here that's leaking. Uh, okay. I think that it might actually be the mirrors that are doing it. My, yeah, my, I'm chugging like crazy. Although this looks wonderful. Like, look at this. This is a, like, look at the freaking lighting. We get a custom skybox here, and I like the simplicity. I think one of my favorite parts about this area is the, is the lighting, but also the simplicity of the textures. Like, it feels like I'm in freaking Knights of the Old Republic. That's what it feels like. I love it. I love this area. I think the mirrors are dragging the whole map down, though, in terms of the frames. Let's take a look at the other area. See if the frames are also... Yeah, so I face this way. No problem. I'm 125. And I face this way. So... Something about the way that the structured is rendering every single part of the map all at once. Uh, let's see how my frames are right in the middle. Yeah, you see, you see the graphics chugging a little bit. And then there's physics clipping on the stairs still. Very nice. Yeah, there's some element of this that's still FPS optimized. And so we're gonna go back into our GTK view and we're gonna see um, what perhaps is causing this. Okay, fires are causing damage, excellent. Oh, let's, let's actually try those teleporters. Make sure that those are working at least. This lighting is fantastic, I love it. Uh, okay, perfect. I'm going to assume the, the other one's just like this, so I'm going to assume that works well. But we got bigger fish to fry. We got to solve the frames per seconds issues. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to exit out of here, and I'll see you back in the editor. Okay, so we're back in the editor view, and I think that in the case of the FPS culprits, I have some uh, suspects. So I notice there's some lights out here. Um, I'm not sure that that's completely necessary to render. We're going to try to go a separate area. Let's go a separate direction, right? So let's go. It's really, really hard. So we're going to go boom. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. We're going to do this. Here. Here. Okay. So we're going to take all this.
And we're going to take this. On an area this small, we should not be checking this much frames per second. I think it's really going to be those mirrors. Here. Here. Okay. And we're even going to go up here. We're going to make these structural too. Why not? Okay. So we went nuclear, right? So basically all parts of this, it's going to lead to a little bit longer of a compile time, but all parts of this structural across the board. And I can even do this, 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 this. Boom. Okay, so let's make all that structural. There's our first step, right? And now let's go to another training room. I'm so sorry, but when you gotta go, you gotta go. So I'm just gonna make this. I don't know, let's uh, view all high unused. Do uh do the floor, keep it consistent with here. It's a safe way to go. And what are these? This portal surface. And I've never actually let's look at that entity. This portal surface nearest will show a view from the targeted missed portal camera or a mirror view if it's untargeted. This must be within 64 world units of the surface. Hmm. I wonder, is it necessary to have all of these? Can you have just one? And then it just will touch the entire surface and apply the same thing? I don't know. But we're going to take them out and we're going to see if that uh, helps our frames situation. And you know what? We also have to do boom, boom, boom. Okay. And so windows over here. There's no windows over here. Okay. So so we're gonna make these structural. If we didn't make, if I didn't already make this structural, I'm gonna make this structural again. Okay. So truly nothing. I can't see anything past this point if I do this. So here we go. Brush. Make structural. Boom. Save. And then we're going to compile and we're going to try it out again. So I'll see you when I boot it back up. How's it going, everybody? We are back. And now we're going to see how the frames look this time. Oh, man. These frames are a little bit better, aren't they? It's 120. I'm getting 125 the entire time. Let's say uh, this feels good, doesn't it? Let's see. What was that? Okay, I'm falling to like 115, but obviously that is a significant improvement. Yeah. I, I, yeah, this is, these frames are 20 times better and obviously, and this isn't actually that bad of a replacement for that area. Cool. Yep, and now I can look back. Now if I look this way, I notice that for a second my frames will go down to like 100. Um, looks like there's still a little bit of frames issues. Hmm. I think it has to do with... Uh, I think it might have to do with a top window showing other parts of the map or perhaps lighting entities up here reflecting on surfaces outside the map. So I think if I'm gonna bring it through one more cycle, I think that what I should do, is that actually useful? So let's see, spectate. Okay, that, that AFX has gotta go. Um, Okay, 
I'm trying to see what's all being like drawn and considered. So there's, okay, I get the need to, to show this. I think my number one suggestion would probably be, uh, you can probably get either gut this window or make an extended hallway out away and make the area truly distinct and blocked off because I think that what's happening is there's some visibility showing throughout here. And I'd be very careful about using lights like on the outside of this because I think it incidentally draws, um, I think it incidentally draws other parts of the map. But it's this is probably like a 75% improvement from what I saw the first time. Those mirrors were obviously a huge drain on the map. And the fact that those were affecting every part of the map told me that uh, there's something about this room or the way that the rooms are configured in general that it tells me that there still needs to be some frames optimizations. Um, like another alternative easy one I can think of is honestly just raise all this up raise 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 and then cap it off with a skybox up here like if you raise this up like these walls and then you just put like a skybox closed out at the very top of this and then you just put independent skyboxes around these areas Whew, I, I think that's going to get you there. I think that'll finish out this map. So that's my review. I think it's a tremendous improvement from the time before. And we still, for heaven's sakes, we need to pick a different EFX there. Uh, it looks cool, but the sound is going to kill people. Um, but yeah, frames are looking a lot better now. So I'm going to punt this BSP and this dot map back to Rin. And uh, we'll see you in the next version. Peace! Okay. So, there were some FPS issues, but I sealed the map up. I did like a really exhaustive like snugging up of the sky to get this as close as possible. And made a few other optimizations and now the frame rates are good and it's in a playable shape. So now I'm adding them to my league dual map for the next version. And I want everybody to go there, give Rin your feedback. And then he can work on another iteration of this once it goes through feedback cycles. Um, and then it'll be a final release version all on its own. And people can pop in and out of this map and give feedback whenever they want. And then just go back to normal playing and then direct new people to check it out. That's what I'll be doing. And so um, you'll get to see when you'll get to see some of the changes I made. But yeah, the frames are solid now. I'm adding this to my map and uh, we'll give it a go tonight.